hey, how you doing? Um, thanks for reaching out. I wanted to give you a couple of starting points, and then we can go from there. Um, I'd love to meet if you want to. We can meet in person or on Zoom. Um, and we can go, you can go through that trouble ticket system, or you can just reach out to me at this email. Um, so here's how I went about it. I was like, social contagion, what does that mean? Because um, we were looking for things, and I'm looking at another monitor. We were looking for um, kind of related terms or something like that, because maybe it's a, it's a newer theory of, of like network association and sociology and emotions and stuff like that. Or maybe it's a new name. So I went to um, Google Gemini and I, was, and I just typed in social contagion. And it gave me some keywords that I might try. Social norms is a big one that I've been looking at. Um, and it gave me examples. And so I could use some of these in like keyword searches. So when we go to the library, there's two databases that I'm going to try. So one is looking at all of society. So that's like social sciences, sociology. So I'm going to open that up in a new window. And then there's another one where we want to look at individual psychology, because that's where the mental health thing comes in. But there's probably like a ton of other places we could look too. Um, so that's so we have we have this psychology database and we have this sociology database. And for both of them, I'm going to go back and forth. But it'll make sense in a minute. But I'm going to go to advanced search for both of them. And then you may or may not be aware that when we go to library databases, it doesn't look at cookies or history or anything like that. It's only what you type in. Um, so you could start out by just typing in social contagion, and then it might offer um, synonyms or related terms. So I don't know. Some of these are just like enjoyment. That's not a social contagion. Um, so some of these, it, it might be not doing so great. But here's dynamic social networks and blah, 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 blah. So the reason that I stuck it in quotes was so those two keywords stick together so we don't find social here and contagion there. And I'm going to get rid of this. So you can start out this way and just examine what's going on with social contagion. So this one, oh, challenge. It's like the, the ice bucket challenge where people dumped ice over their heads, <laughs> which was a strange thing, wasn't it? Um, so before I even go into the population of higher ed, um, I can look at things like this. 630. So I'm going to go back and modify the search. And let's add um, like related terms. So from Gemini, or for, I think ChatGPT will do this too, you can put in related terms. Just put an or in between each one. So I, I just grabbed this from like examples, fads, social movements, misinformation. Um, and I just added that to the search. So what this will do is when I add all of this stuff, oops, I don't want a quote on the end of that one. So the quotes, we only want, if it's more than one word, we want those to stick together. I don't know why I have a quote there. So we're going to go from, um, this, this will expand our search results and hopefully find some of the things, but we want it to be kind of bigger and like what talks about social contagion. You were saying, I want other things related. So this will expand the search. So in the sociology one, we went from 633 or whatever. To, Whoa, <laughs> okay, that's big enough. <laughs> um, that's a lot which is good because we're looking for something bigger than, yeah, OK, so this got really big. Next, we want to put in our population. So that is, you were saying, impact on students in the university. So this is where I'm going to put in related terms. So what this is doing with this one is it saying, OK, after you found all of the things on social contagion, fads, viral, social movements, any of those, then I want you to narrow it down into 
university um, or higher education or college. And I think it's inferred that it's students, but if we'll dig around and see what happens in that search. So this one, <laughs> 32,000. Okay, let's narrow down. Let's see what happens when we add this. So you see the and here? And always means then narrow it down. So every time we add an and, it narrows it down further. 39,000. And this one, if we add higher education, ooh, 22,000. Okay, now, now we're going to look at, I'm going to add a row. Now where it was like, you want to do mental health. But what other things are related to student mental health? Um, it could be, you could narrow down to specific things. Uh, yeah, anxiety or, so remember every time we add an and, right here, this and, it's adding, um, oh, look at there, or stress. Even, oh, we're well-being, oh man, look at all these. I'm gonna use that one instead. But it wants, I gotta stick those in quotes if it's more than one word. Uh, I don't know if a hyphenated one needs that. Emotional health. <laughs> I'm going to save that one. Because it's only look, so it's not a smart search. It's only looking for the, the characters of the words that we type in. Um, so I'm going to do a search on that one. And I'm going to do a search on this one. Oh, only 6,000. Oh, still 17,000. OK. Next thing we can do, now that we know we've got a good search, is we can narrow it down to what's the most important part of what you're looking for. So you could push. You could prioritize this and say, I want social contagion to be in the title, and I want university students to be in the title. And that'll narrow it down even further. Document title. And then mental health, that should be just like a part of it, maybe. I don't know. You get to decide. This is another way of narrowing it down. Ooh, there's only seven. OK, that's an acronym. So suicide. Oh, there's an acronym. Oh, here we go. Social contagion and mental health evidence from college roommates. That one looks pretty good. That one. <laughs> if you find one good one, then what we can do is you can go in there. Social contagion of mental health. This might be like too much. But this might be how you find more ideas. But you can see, if you go into this article, you can see the things that they cited. Um, this one might be a little old. Um, but you can see what they talked about. Oh, look at there. There is evidence. Oh, there's no evidence for happiness contagion. But there is anxiety and depression contagion. So you could use this article as like a, a way to start. Um, on this one, oof, there's only four, and they're books. So I might have gone too far. So you can back out to the abstract. And it'll expand the search, because it doesn't have to be in the title, then this might be good. Um, so what you, since social contagion, Let's go to Google Ngrams. How new is social contagion as a concept? Oh, OK. So social contagion is a relatively new concept that started around the turn of our current century. So um, that's where you might have to go and look for different things. So this is like all the books in like North American libraries. So this isn't world literature by any stretch. It's mostly English-based stuff. But you can see that social contagion is rather new. 
So you might have to look at other ways of, of looking at it, but this seems like a good place to start. So I would say, and I'll send you these, these keywords, um, but if you look in the abstract and you look for these search terms, that might be the best way to go in the psychology database or in any of the other databases that you're looking in. So dig around and see if you can find what you're, what you're looking for. And you can do this in the abstract too. Dig around and see if you can find what you're looking for. Um, and then I'm, I'm happy to help further. And if you want to still meet, let me know. Ah, I'm trying